Hi there and welcome back. Here we have another Christmas themed video for you from us here at Lotta Jasmine Designs. We're going to use these three beautiful Christmas bauble or decoration moulds. Um, then they're slightly, I don't know if you call that convex, I think it's convex. So slightly 3D. We've got two that have got an embossed pattern or on a raised pattern on them, lovely squirrely squirrely swirly pattern and one that's plain and I thought we'd use some of this now that's actually mica powder but it looks very much like very fine glitter beautiful blue this is some leftover uh, glitter from a kit that we reviewed and then we've got these two beautiful glitters from Hemway which by far my favorite supplier at the moment for glitters so all we're going to do is we're going to dust each of these mold. Well, we're going to dust the two with the embossed patterns on them. We're going to dust those with the with the mica powder just to try and bring out as much of the detail of the mold as possible. And then the third one, well, we'll wait and see. But going to apply it with a brush. So this is a sped up time lapse of me just applying the the mica powder to the mold. I mean, it beautiful shade of blue frosty wintry just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous blue if you didn't know by now is actually my favorite color so there we go that's the first one done now it's the second one making sure obviously we do up round the top which is the bit where you with the little where you put your little loop for um uh, and so on for the cord uh, as you know all i've just done is flicked a bit of the mica powder and then i've used uh, the the glitter the little leftover glitter now that's okay um not as eye-catching as these though with the, with the patterns um i mean you could always do a freehand uh pattern on the one that doesn't have a pattern if you are that uh level of you know technical ability so i thought also what we do in this video this video by the way is a bit longer than our usual videos by all means you don't have to watch all of it fast forward the bits that you like you don't like but i thought we'd also use these lovely tea light molds which were um claire's crafty corner she claire from there did actually show them in hers so i'm just going to apply the same technique as i did with the um baubles we're going to apply the mica powder to two of them this took a long while hence why it's being sped up i mean you know this took me a good 15 minutes to get all the mica powder adequately into each of the molds so this is the other mold so it's two sets of two yes that's right two sets of two slightly different design uh glitter uh, escaped a bit from this as you can see on the left hand tea light um but we're going to use we're going to use this so i'm just literally sprinkling the glitter in again this has been sped up i don't sprinkle glitter quite this quickly of course you don't have to use glitter if you if you if you don't like glitter but i always think you can never have too much glitter so that was the silvery iridescent one i'm now applying the blue one so just popping it in there it's different sizes of glitter in these two tubes as well i do sometimes find that the uh, some of the glitter sinks and some of it floats i'm hoping that doesn't happen here but you know we won't know till the end so just applying a little bit, I had some leftover mica powder I was just showing you there. And those are the two glitters. Beautiful. We bought them in a set. I think there's over 50 tubes, which was a fantastic bargain. Absolute bargain. Everything that we've used, by the way, will be linked in the description box below. So we're just knocking the mould here to try and tap and uh, spread the glitter out a little bit, she says and then just pressing it down slightly so it does stick to the outside or the inside of these moulds. So there we are, just comparing the two, the glitter with the mica. And then I think I'm also just going to show, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed, my usual thing at the moment. And here are those lovely three baubles that we have applied glitter and also mica powder to. So there we are. Going to use a tea expert resin, favourite res resin at the moment. It's a one to one mixing ratio. Here it is. I added in the leftover bits of glitter that when I tapped out the tea light moulds and so on earlier, we had leftover glitter. So I've popped that in with the resin along with the mica powder, stirred it, mixed it for the length of time that they advise you to. And now I'm going to pour. Now it comes out very fast. 
I promise you I didn't pour it that quickly. This has been sped up because as I said, you need to take time when pouring resin into molds, trying to avoid overspill. And of course, if you've watched plenty of our videos, you'll have seen that quite often I do get overspill, um, which then obviously makes it a longer job because then you've got the cleanup job afterwards of trying to trim up all the overspill. Um, which of course you can do. Here's um, the other tea light mould. I just zoomed out a bit there. Excuse the scruffy state of my work area. Um, carefully just pouring it into the other one. That was the one with the mica. So we've done the glitter. We've done the one with the mica. Just trying to fill it up. Make sure it's all completely as full as it needs to be without overspilling. <gasps> I don't believe it. Oh no, no. We do have a couple of little drips on that one. But uh, apart from that, no catastrophes. So just filling up the um, bauble moulds now. Now, don't forget these, <laughs> just have to be so careful. Again, this has been sped up. So at that point, you can see the one in the top. It's just spreading towards where the loop would be, where you would put your cord or your ribbon for putting it, looping it and putting it on your tree or hanging it from lights or garlands. So I, again, not patient enough. So just took a little jug full or a little mixing jug full of the resin and just poured it over. So just a quick shot there while I'm panning around. Now I had too much resin. So as you just saw then, I've also made a trinket tray because I never ever waste resin. So this is then the following day. Now this is about, I want to say 16, 17 hours later. It's, it is cured, but it's still quite soft. So do go careful. I mean, over here in the UK, it's very cold at the moment. So resin to cure is taking longer. It's taking about a day or so longer, even with the uh, central heating on. So we yes, we do have a bit of overspill there, as you can see that I'm doing with my thumbnail. Just releasing the mould from this one now, carefully, carefully, particularly carefully up around that loop bit, because you obviously don't want that to break, otherwise you've got to fix it. And you can see there the thinner bits of resin, that's where I will trim up uh, either using a pair of scissors, a deburring tool or craft knife. So that looks rather beautiful. As I said, you can see... We've used the mica powder to dust the mould um, and then you've got just little highlights of the glitter there. Not sparkly in your face shiny, but just enough so you know they're there. Just enough. And there's the mould. It came out quite cleanly because this was the first time we're using these moulds. It's the second one. Again, we've got a bit of overspill. Easily tidied up. Just pulling it away, carefully away from around the top. Uh, and there we go, easily out of the mould. And that one was quite a clean uh, mould that it left behind again. Again, as you can see here, they're very thin bits of overspill. That's gorgeous. Same sort of effect as the first one we demoulded. Looks beautiful. I mean, you could, if you are patient and careful enough, go in and fill in some of those sections that you can see. Um, with maybe some silver some silver uh, metallic paint or you can just leave them as is. So this was the one where we just flicked the glitter in and dusted it with a little bit of mica. So this one is going to be a lot more subtle. So there we are. Again, a little bit of overspill that we need to just tidy up there. Careful around the top. <gasps> oh my gosh. The glitter in this one is beautiful. Not a lot of the larger glitter. Uh, more of the finer glitter. So just zooming out there. Sorry about that. And there's all three of those together. Uh, for some reason, the camera didn't really want to focus on this. I'm not sure quite why. But those look absolutely gorgeous. So obviously you just finish those off with a bit of ribbon or cord through the top. Now, this was the first set of tea mold, uh, tea light tea molds, of tea light molds. <laughs> And we've got a bit of overspill. I'm just trying to release it slightly. Now, as you can see, the one on the right there, it's a bit bendy still. So once I have demolded, I mean, you can just leave them in for another 12 hours, but you know me, impatient. So demolded it and then leaving everything on a very flat surface for another 12 hours so it completely cures and becomes rock hard. So here we are, ready. And this was the one where we done did the mica powder. So again, a little bit of uh, clean up there to do, a bit tidying. There we 
go and don't forget there's a little bit of glitter in the resin so there we are that very similar to the first two baubles that we did where we dusted the molds i think that's it's understated it's subtle it's classic it's a beautiful color very similar to that would look lovely as a complete set um you know with the with with the baubles uh, this is why i've kept the two uh, rather than do two separate videos this is why i've kept these in together so you could see if you wanted to buy a complete set or make a complete set the effect that you could create um so yeah just trying to release that one there obviously it's been sped up because yeah it took a while <laughs> so here we go a bit of overspill and the same thing this again was another one where we we dusted the mold with the mica powder so what a, more of a matte finish than a glossy finish um, and with little bits of the gold there, uh, the gold, the glitter, very understated, very classic. Again, look, look lovely with the baubles. So next thing to do, we have the ones with the glitter. And these were even more tricky than the other tea lights to remove. So just very carefully uh, removing the mould there. Obviously, as I said, this has been sped up. A little bit of a sneak peek there as to what the finished uh, pieces would look like. I'm just removing them from the moulds. I am going to make these in different colours. I think it's just screaming at me to do that. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. And any minute now, I'm going to turn it over and reveal it. Oh my goodness. So that is gorgeous. Sorry about the bing bong in the background there. <laughs> Amazon delivery. Um, beautiful, complete contrast to the other ones, although would look lovely together. Now, this was the bonus one. This was the trinket tray. Um, this was what I did with the leftover resin because I made up way too much. And here we are. Oh my goodness me. How is this going to look? Because this was just the resin. I didn't do anything to the mould at all. That is breathtakingly beautiful not everyone would agree i know not everybody loves glitter and to be honest with you i didn't used to but this the effects slightly holographic with the larger uh pieces of glitter in there and then just it almost like the night sky i mean this is is the trinket tray with the two types of uh, uh method of tea light holder and i think they look stunning absolutely stunning as a set or individually wow i mean your what you could do is endless to be honest with these and here we go this is just panning down so please excuse my very messy workstation i hadn't done the clean up at this point um as you can see i've still got mica powder and glitter everywhere but I thought you might like to see this where it shows up with the larger bits of glitter almost given like a holographic, I think it's holographic, uh, effect to the pieces and what it looks like in different light. I mean, it was dark outside when we were filming this. And this is from the lights from the, from the kitchen where I currently have my workstation. And there we go. There's the third one. It looks beautiful. The glitter shows up more in this light obviously than in in natural light but there we go and there's the trinket tray which was the leftover one a little bit like stars at night perhaps if it was a bit darker and then again these were the mica ones again you see as you just move it in the different lights they show up with a different holographic effect in there and there's the other one you can use these with real candles tea light candles or you can use them with little battery operated ones uh, if you're a bit concerned regarding safety i mean obviously you should, you should never leave candles unattended anyway um if you're still with us thank you for watching we are almost at the end i promise um but we thought yeah rather than split it into two separate videos one with the baubles one with the tea lights <gasps> Sneak peek, sneak peek. You've probably already seen him though. That was my Christmas gnome. Um, so here we are. I'm just showing you how I'm cleaning up the edges with the craft knife. I wouldn't normally show you this, but I thought as a little bonus thing and for sticking to the end, or the almost very end, 
here we are we're just gradually removing it I do this when it's still soft because it's much easier rather than taking a piece of sandpaper to it I mean all by all means you can and here is the final one of the final shots what we can see it's with the battery operated tea lights there so obviously there's no worry about having uh, naked flames or fire in your home um, so these I just filmed these thought you might like to see them all together close-up shots of the tea lights with the glitter the ones with just the mica powder the tray and then there we go the baubles in the background and here we are from a different angle well thanks everyone for tuning in watching liking sharing subscribing don't forget to hit the notification bell there is a link also in the description that will take you to our Etsy shop. Our Christmas collection of a few items that we've got that we've made will be available from about the 2nd of December if you wish to purchase. Thanks everyone again for tuning in. Hopefully you're enjoying our videos. Uh, please tell your friends. <laughs> and uh, next one will be available on Friday. Uh, thanks again for tuning in everybody. Goodbye. Thank you.